You have reached Rad Steel's awesome toy collections review. I'm your man, Rad Steel. And today, I guess the supply chain sort just finally ended because I found this guy on toy shelves finally. And that is from the G.I. Joe Classified series, Bat. G.I. Joe Classified Series Bat. But before I get into the actual review, I just want to go over some of the stunning details on the packaging. Up front here, you have a typical display window showing you both the figure and all of his accessories inside. Over here, you have custom artwork drawn by Mohammed Ferdas. And on the side of the box here, you have the number 33, which represents his number in the series. Then on the other side of the box, you have another piece of custom artwork drawn by Mohammed Ferdas. Then on the back of the box, you have that beautiful montage of all of the classified series figures. G.I. Joe Classified Series Bat. Bat was released on December 1st, 2021 with the suggested retail price of $24.99 and it is available at all major retailers. Bat was released along with other G.I. Joe classified series Wave 7 figures Gung Ho and Cobra Alley Viper. Bat has multiple points of articulation for dynamic posability. Its accessories include three swappable hand accessories, swappable battle damage head, chest plate cover, battle damage chest plate cover, blaster, and backpack. Bat stands six inches tall and is meant for fans ages four and up. Its design is updated for modern playability. Now that I have Bat on my display table, I just want to talk about some of its play features and accessories. First, I want to talk about his backpack. This backpack has a lot of detail. There's even a molded detail with a hose and nozzle, but it can't do anything because it's molded on. But in the back of the backpack, there's a little peg right here. And on the back of Bat's back in the center, there's a hole right here. You can go ahead and plug that backpack right in that hole right here. And the cool thing with this backpack is much like the original version where you can store a lot of Bat's accessories in there, but I'll get into that later. First, I want to talk about how these accessories work on Bat. You can attach these accessories right into the wrist right here of either the right hand or the left hand. And at the wrist, there's a little peg hole right here. So first, I want to go ahead and grab his claw right here. And at the top of the claw, there's a little peg right here. You can plug that right in like that. So now you have Bat with his claw. Another attachment that he comes with is his, like a laser cannon. Again, another peg right here. Put that right in the peg hole at the wrist. Now you have him armed with his laser cannon. And this final attachment is like a blowtorch attachment, which is really cool and nicely detailed. You take that attachment, and you can also plug that right in, just like you did with the other two attachments. Now you have Bat with his blowtorch. You can also take all three of those accessories and you can store it on his backpack. Right here is where I like to kind of store the, the claw. I'm going to put the claw right there. Then I'm going to take the blowtorch. I'm going to put it right in that peg right here. I'm going to take the blowtorch and do the same thing. Plug it right in the little back. Now you have Bat with his backpack. And another cool thing is he comes with a, a pistol. The pistol goes right into his hand. 
this. And also, and a feature that I love about the G.I. Joe Classified series, is you can take all the weaponry and you can store it right in all the holsters. You know, same with the knives and swords. A place for everything for all the figures. Another thing that that bat came with was a chest cover. And I do not remember if the original bat had a chest cover. Now, I do always remember the circuitry being exposed, and I do own a 25th anniversary of this figure. I don't have it on hand to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I do not remember if he had a chest plate cover. If you guys know for sure, just leave a comment in the comments below. But now you have bat fully accessorized and armed. I'm going to rotate around so you guys can see what he looks like from all angles. And this figure is a very pleasant surprise because I heard him, or he was first announced at a PulseCon. But they said that he wouldn't be out until much later because of the supply chain issue. But I think they overcame that. Now he's hitting store shelves. Him and the, the Cobra Alley Viper and Gung Ho are, are in the current wave. And I find it a very pleasant surprise because I didn't expect Bad out this soon. But his, his initial announce, announced um, release date was not made yet. They did not know when they were going to release this guy, but he's out now. Another cool thing is, he came with a couple of battle damage pieces, chest plate and head. So I'm going to go ahead and remove his head, I'm going to put in the battle damage head. Like that. And you have the chest plate right here. And I'm going to put the chest plate on. And it's really nicely detailed, but you see a little crack in the armor, a little hole right here. I mean, it looks like someone gouged out his eye right here, but you see the lens and some cracks in the the face plate. But that's a really cool feature that they included with this bat. It's a lot of battle damage. I'm going to move that. The bat was a figure that I always wanted as a kid. And by the time he came out, I was kind of outgrowing G.I. Joe. And I was getting into the MTV and you know teenage stuff, but this this series was a cool series. Like a lot of figures that came out around this time period were, were, were great. Just that I outgrew it. And now as an adult collector, I can appreciate them more. I do have that available in a link in my descriptions below. And if you click that link, anything you buy through that link, whether it be the actual bat or anything at Amazon will greatly help this channel out because it'll help the channel grow so I can produce more content for the future. If you found any of the information valuable in this review, please like and share this video. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future reviews. I want to thank you for watching Rad Seal's awesome toy collector review. I'll check you guys out next time.